Now for this part of the question then, we're given the results here of a survey of the different types of exercise taken by a group of 100 people. And we've got to draw a Venn diagram to represent these data. So I've started off by drawing three circles representing running, swimming and cycling. And make sure they overlap one another. Now it's very tempting in questions like this to always start from the top here, 65 running in this case, and just to put 65 in this region here. Don't do that because the 65 is distributed over these four regions in here. And the same with the 48 that swim, that's distributed over these regions. And to do questions like this, what we've got to generally do is go to the last result. 25 do all three, so we've got to put the 25 in the middle here. We can do that, okay? Now work backwards, 35 run and cycle. So we mustn't make the mistake of putting 35 just in here. This would be the number of people who would run and cycle but not swim, run and cycle only. 35 run and cycle, that is these two regions. They might do swimming, but nonetheless they run and cycle. So if 35 cover that region, then that's got to be 10 in there. Working back up again, we've got 30 that swim and cycle. So same argument applies here. Don't put 30 in here. These two have got to add up to 30, so that means five go there. And when we go to 40, run and swim, we've got 25 already in here, so it leaves us with 15 to make up that 40. Now we can start to work back into this group here, 60 cycle. So we know that all four regions here must add up to 60. This region here would be those that only just cycle. But for 60 that cycle, if you add up these three here, you'll get it comes to 40. So that leaves us with 20 that only do cycling. Similarly, 48 do swimming. That's all of this in here. We've already got a total of 45, so therefore we've got another three in there that just do swimming only. And 65 run, so taking into account all of this, then that's got to come up to 65. That leaves us with 15 in there. And we mustn't forget, we know that the total of this comes to 100. There could be people who do nothing. And if you add up everything that you've got in all of these circles, you'll find that it comes to 93. So that leaves us with seven that clearly don't do anything. Okay, well, there you go. That's how I would go about drawing that Venn diagram and the reasoning that I would use to fill the values in. So I hope that's been of some use to you if it was a problem. Okay.